Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how Bokisor works. So the first example is using only integer values. So we have a list of um, eight random integer values here. The first thing has to be done is to decide how many buckets we need. So let's see, we have only one to five integers. So there needs at most five buckets to sort all these values. So then we go through the list, add each key in the list to an appropriate bucket. So three goes to the third bucket, two goes to the second bucket, and so on. Five, four, two, three, one, five. So now we have added all the keys to the bucket. So what has to be done next is put all keys back into the list from the bucket. Uh, so we start from the first one and put everything, everything here, four and five. So once we have um, cleared out all the buckets, we have a list with um, all the values are in ascending order. So this is easy. Um, this is how it can be done for the integer values only. But what about doubles? So let's see. Um, so given this list with random double values, then we do the same thing, add each key to the appropriate bucket. But this time it's kind of tricky to decide how many buckets we need because we don't really know the range of the double values. So here, um, luckily, we know the range. So 0.1 to 0.6, we decide to have five buckets. You can have as many buckets as possible because the numbers are continuous in this case. So uh, given this, we add everything into the bucket as it goes. OK, so once everything is added to the buckets, then the next thing here is actually we first have to sort because in the previous case, all the integers have discrete values, so they don't have to be sorted in each bucket. But in this case, um, all the values are different. So it has to be sorted first within the bucket and then put back to the original list. So for the first um, bucket, uh, we have only one key. For the second one, this one is not sorted, so we have to sort in the ascending order and put it back. Third one, same story, uh, we sort and put. Four and fifth one, we it's already sorted, so we just simply put it back. And again, once the bucket is emptied, um, we have a list with all the keys in ascending order. 